Hello Year 9, welcome to the final tutorial on our Grade A calculator and we're going to look at adding the memory function to our calculator. So the first thing that I'm going to do and I'm going to ask you to do is to create a variable that we're going to call memory and if you like this is going to be our secondary memory. So I went into the variables, I selected a variable, hopefully you see it on the screen called memory. In the older type computers we had a secondary memory that allowed us to add to it subtract the value in it, clear it, and then recall it, or sorry, not recall it, recall it from memory. So I set up a blank variable, and the next thing we're going to do is create our buttons. So over here, I'm going to, over my button sections, I've got my number one button. I'm just going to duplicate that. And when I click on it, I'm gonna go into, well, I'm gonna get rid of the script. I'll just click, keep the first part. When the sprite is clicked, I'm gonna into my costumes, and I'm going to call this my M plus button. Send her my text. And I'm going to do that for, I'll duplicate that again. For my M minus. And I'll duplicate again for my M C R for memory clear. And I'll duplicate it for one final time for my memory recall. So I've got my four memory buttons and I'm going to position them on the actual calculator. So I'm going to drag these buttons into place. And what you might have to do is rearrange your calculator interface. What I have done is I've went into my buttons and you can see here I've set them all to 75%. So you might have to go in and change that and rearrange them. But I've now got my four buttons. I'm going to rearrange them down here to the right. And now it's time to program the functionality to it. So the first one I'll look at is adding the value into the secondary storage or into the memory. So on the M plus button, I'm going to go into the code of that. And what we're looking at to do is when we click that, whatever's in the answer screen, we're going to add it into our memory. So when this constantly adds to it. Every time we hit M plus, it will add to what what is already in the in the memory. So I'm going to change, go to the variables and set my memory to. And I'm going to go to my maths and I'm going to go get the plus operator and I'll be setting the memory to whatever's in the memory initially that would be zero plus whatever we had in the answer screen and I drag it into position so if we go back to my calculator and test that and I said 23 plus 56 equals and I can hit M plus and 79 gets added into the calculator I'm going to clear my main memory and I'm going to put in 36 take away 25 equals 11 and I'm going to add this to memory and my memory will now read 90 because we've added on to it. So we're now going to go to our subtract from memory and that will take the value in the answer screen and will subtract it from what's ever been stored in the secondary memory. So hopefully you get the idea here. What we're doing is setting our memory to, and this time we're going to use our minus mathematical operator, to whatever in the memory, go back to my variables, oh, minus whatever's in the answer screen. So if we test this, I've got 11 in memory, we hit MR, this should go back to 79. And we've got our MR, memory clear, MCR I've used as memory clear. What you've got very simple is have to set our memory back to zero and memory recall. What we do is when we press that, whatever's in the memory is going to overwrite the answer screen. So I go into my memory recall button and I'm saying, when this sprite is clicked, set my answer screen to whatever's been in the memory. So when I hit memory recall, 79 is back into me in memory. So that is the final part of a grade A calculator when we've got the traditional M plus add to memory, M minus subtract from the memory, recall the memory and clear the memory. So folks, remember this project is due by the end of the week, submission for Friday morning at nine o'clock. 
and we're hoping that everyone is going for a great egg calculator. Have a good midterm.